Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So this video is a quick prediction for Euro 2020. Now, something a little bit different. Obviously this is a boxing channel. I don't intend on covering football anytime soon. So rest assured this is a one-off. But Euro 2020, a tournament... Why not, why not do a prediction for it? And um, yeah, we are on the UEFA website and it gives us a little fancy prediction tournament thingy-majiggy, whatever you want to call it. So um, we start with Group A, consists of Switzerland, Turkey, Wales and Italy. Now I'm presuming Italy are going to come top. They have the highest ranked team in that group and in my opinion the best team. I quite fancy Turkey getting through in this group. I think they might surprise people, actually, Turkey. Um, third place, we have Switzerland. Good, solid, uh, solid team all round. And we are going Wales, rock bottom. Um, that's no surprise coming from an, uh, from an Englishman. Um, group B, we will take Belgium to win the group. I think they are by far the strongest team in that group. Uh, still in that golden gen uh, the golden generation, I would say. Um, and yeah, I'd say Belgium come top of that group. I think second place is going to be a battle between Russia and Denmark. Russia had a real good World Cup last time out, but Denmark, in my opinion, have a pretty solid squad, in all honesty. So I'm actually going to go Denmark to come second in that group. Russia third and Finland rock bottom. Group C, interesting group. Um... I think it's safe to assume Netherlands will win that group. They should do at least. Um, Macedonia, I'm going to go rock bottom. Well, North Macedonia. Second and third, to me, is a, a tough one. I think I'll go Ukraine second and Austria third. Now, Group D, of course, which uh, interests me, uh, being England are involved. We're going to go Scotland rock bottom because it has to be done. Czech Republic third. I think we'll draw with Croatia, and I think Croatia are going to get better results than us. So I'm going to go Croatia top, England second. So yeah, that's my Group D. Group E. Spain, to me, are not the team they were a few years ago, but nevertheless, I think they'll top that group. I think Poland comes second. Obviously, they still have Lewandowski, uh, arguably the best striker in the world right now. I've got Sweden coming in at third. And Slovakia coming in at fourth. Now, Group F is the group of death, in my opinion. Real good group. Portugal, France, Germany, and Hungary. I think it's safe to assume Ger uh, Hungary are rock bottom. Now, from this point onwards, it gets rather tricky. Germany these days are not really um, looking all that great. But at the same time, you know, Germany might have a bad tournament now and again. But for the most part... They are consistent in, in tournaments, even when you don't think they're going to do well. So, it's always hard to rule out Germany. Um, I'm going to go France to top the group. I think France individually, and in terms of their first 11, have the best team in the tournament. I'm going France to top the group. And Portugal to come third. So, predict the, best, the four best third place teams. Okay, so this is now a thing. So... How the fuck do you do this? Yeah, I'm going to go Portugal, Russia, Austria, and Switzerland. There you go. So Belgium versus Switzerland. I've got Belgium. Italy, Ukraine. We've got Italy. France versus Austria. We have France. England, Poland. Of course, England. Spain, Russia. I've got Spain. Croatia, Germany. I will take Germany. Netherlands, Portugal, I have Portugal, and Turkey, Denmark, I've got Turkey. Quarter final time. Belgium, Italy is a real hard game. Italy in recent years haven't exactly been pulling up trees. Belgium, like I said, they are still in their golden generation, but coming towards the end. Their, their defence in particular is looking rather old at this stage. The likes of Toby Alderweireld, uh, Jan Vertonghen, etc. It's a hard game, you know. I think I might lean towards Italy, you know. I think Italy might have a good tournament. 
Oh Christ! Listen, I'd love to, I, I would love to say England's, but um, you've got to fancy France against England. You know, England of course had a great World Cup in 2018, and at the time I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great summer. That's for mo it, honestly, it was the most united I've ever uh, seen this country during the 2018 World Cup. But as good as it was, we have to really look back and be honest about that tournament. We played three world-class teams, Belgium twice, uh, Belgium in the group, Belgium in the third place playoff, and obviously Croatia in the semi-finals, and we lost all of those games. You know, we had a, we had a very fortuitous route to the semi-final. We scraped past Tunisia, we smashed Panama, we scraped past Colombia, we beat Sweden. It's not exactly like we beat Spain, Germany, Portugal to get to that stage. And when we played big teams, we got found wanting. So I think that trend more than likely will continue. I do believe we have some real good individuals and some good young players. But to tell you the truth, I'm still not convinced about Gareth Southgate. And um, I've got to go France against England. Spain, Germany. I'm going to take Germany. Uh, it's, a hard, it's a hard game to call. Uh, neither team these days are what they were a few years ago, but in a tournament basis, I, I find it really hard to back against Germany. Again, I know they was poor in the World Cup, I know, but it's Germany, you know, usually they're pretty consist uh, consistent, so I've got Germany beating Spain, Portugal, Turkey, I've got Portugal, Italy, France, I'm going to go France, Germany, Portugal. I do like Portugal's team. I, th I think they've got a nice mix of um, good young players and obviously experienced players like Ronaldo. A lot, a, a lot of uh, attacking intent. Bernardo Silva, Cristiano Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, Adrian Silva. They got a lot of um, very good attackers. Portugal, and um, I think in that head-to-head -head scenario, I'm going to go Portugal. So we've got a France-Portugal uh, final in the Euro 2020. According to my expert predictions, this is, this is what we'll see. And I think France should be favourites to beat Portugal in a one-off game. But for whatever reason, you know, I think Portugal, Portugal are going to limp through their group, come third and get like, you know, the, uh, the, the fourth best third place team, whatever they're called. I think Portugal are going to limp through the group and in the knockouts, in one-off games, they'll surprise people or do really well. And I've got a feeling they're going to beat France, you know, in the final. I've got a feeling Portugal are going to limp through the group, make it through the knockouts and beat France in the final. I've got Portugal winning the Euro 2020. Uh, a little bit of an outside bet. Well, not really. I think they're one of the favourites, but I've got Portugal to win it. But what the fuck do I know? I'm a casual football fan these days. I don't really follow football like I used to. I watch the international tournaments. That's really it now. But um, I am looking forward to this tournament. Looking forward to uh, watching the England games. Getting hammered. Having a good time. Hopefully a bit of sunshine. A bit of booze. Should be a good time. But um, yeah, all in all, I've got Portugal winning the tournament. But share your thoughts below. It's been you guy, Delboy. Peace.